Hello everybody, so today we are going to head into the Old Hunters DLC. So I got a few more things prepared. Uh, so we have the Eye of Blood Drunk Hunter, so let's head out to Cathedral Ward and begin this DLC. So in this DLC we are going to get, I believe, two new skill weapons, uh, the Rakuya, which we will not get till way later in the DLC, and the Beast Hunter Scythe, which we'll get at least one third of the way through. Dang it, I told them to be quiet. Alright, so we're gonna head out here, uh, and we are going to get grabbed by this amygdala right here. Because the fiends, they're children too. And their children forever true. Hope you don't mind if I yell quickly. Hey guys, keep it down! Alright, so we're going to light this lamp. Go out to the left here, get Frenzied Cold Blood. Gonna head up here first, get Twin Bloodstone Shards. We're gonna get a ton of Twin Bloodstone Shards in this first area. Gonna head down here quickly, grab the Old Hunter Gloves. will give us pretty good resistances. Pretty easy to parry these guys. Uh, since last we left off, I got the Radiance Rune, which you basically have to talk to Alfred, uh, and he'll go back to where you originally met him, and he will be, spoiler, dead. Gonna head up here, get three blood vials, head up here, I believe this is going to be, yep, more frenzied cold blood. Heading down here, gonna get twin, more twin bloodstone shards, and here we're gonna get a lot of madman's knowledge. Over here, I believe we're gonna get like, I think, six blood vials. Yep. Gonna encounter new hunter type with the new weapon, the um, boom hammer.
gonna be running past this guy, you don't need to fight him. Unless he wants to fuck with us. Okay, he doesn't. Smart move. Alright, so over here there's going to be a machine gun right here. Can break it. So there will be a pressure plate right here. And get some quick silver bullets. Right up there is going to be a new weapon. The, uh, beast cutter. There's going to be a new hunter type up there with the new gun, the piercing rifle, which uh, we'll get later. Right up here, we're going to get more blood vials. Drop down here. And down here... ...is going to be the beast cutter. Let me just show that off real quick. So this is going to be a good strength weapon. Nice club-like moveset. Let me just try and show it off against some of these beasts who won't fight back. But when transformed... Nice all one cleaver type move set. Uh, R2 will be a slam down attack. Yeah, so it's pretty good. So, like I said, pretty good for a strength build. Okay, where'd that hunter come from? Wow, he has a lot of health. But we'll blow him away with the cannon. Drop some vermin. Just break that right now. And we're gonna head up here. And right up over here. So we're going to encounter a new hunter, just with a beast on the scythe, but this one... ...will charge at you. And do the transformed attacks on you. So, heading over here. We'll get more Twin Bloodstone Shards. Then heading up here. And dropping down. When that us the Old Hunter Trousers. Pretty good. And I'm fucked. Fucked right in the ass. <laughs> By some birds. Man, that would be a strange animation. Alright, so enough effing around. Take that guy out nice and easily. Run up over here, some dogs will come running after you. Can take them out one hit pretty easily.
blow this bitch away. Bitch, get your... You're dead. Alright, so this time when we drop down, we're gonna drop down this way. And be real quiet when you sneak up on this guy. Take him out. Fist him right in the ass. Don't ask how I know what that is. Alright, so right up over here is going to be uh, that same hunter. Alright, so up here is going to be a rolly ball of death. So, attract the beast right there, and they will head down. Wait a bit. And all the beasts will be killed. Well, almost all of them, but... Then up here, we will get the old hunter garb. Looks pretty badass. Not as good as um the bone ash armor though. With that better resistances. Got some more Molotovs. Up here we're gonna encounter a new enemy, Nightmare Executioners. Now we're gonna head up in here. So, up here, uh, there will be this giant flaming cleric beast. Now, to spoil it, yes, this will become a boss later on. Um, but as of right now, there is no way to activate it. We have to grab the eye pendant from it that will activate a lift later on. And then under that lift, we will get a skull, which will allow us to fight that boss. Now, I'm not going to spoil who that boss is, but just know it's someone very important to the lore. So, we're going to head down here. Now in here, um, this will uh, take us to the night, to a shortcut back to the beginning. So right up here, there was going to be a huge array of machine guns. Now it, it's actually very easy to get past this. We just need to run over here and run up over here. Don't stop on that pressure plate. You can just walk around here. Destroy the guns. What's actually causing them to fire is a pressure plate on the ground right here. So Let me just show you. So, stepping on that will cause them to fire. Now, we're going to encounter a new type of Molotov. This is going to be the timed Molotov.
Now what we're going to do is we're going to go run and get the shortcut. Uh, there are going to be some things back here that we will get next episode. But first we're going to grab these. So, delayed Molotovs. And down here, there's going to be a big, huge trap. So what we're going to do is throw down a delayed Molotov, explode all that, and that would have killed you. So we're going to run out here, go up here and get some beast blood pellets. Now, there's going to be an NPFC up here that will drop the powder keg hunter. No, not powder keg, because we already have that. Firing hammer badge, that's what it is. Um, now, if you don't have the required damage or aren't using like a strength build or a skill build, this guy can be very, very, very hard to kill. Um, it's not like he hits hard. But he has a very um, high amount of health, and it, I wouldn't recommend trying to take him down um, until you have like at least a plus 10 weapon and some like buffs or something. But the only reason I'm going to kill him now, or at least try to, uh, is because I have my beast blood pellets and I've killed him many times before, so I know exactly what to do. Uh, you'll probably uh, want to use strong attacks. Uh, especially with this weapon, it can be very powerful. So, get his attention. Charge up strong attacks. As you can see, uh, he has a very, very high amount of health. But with beast blood pellets, we can just... Uh, strong attack, spam him. Kill him quite easily. Now later on we will defeat a boss that will allow us to get that wolf form, but only with that beast claw weapon that he has. Which is a weapon that you find in the chalice dungeons, which I'll explain that later. So what we'll do from here is run up here, go out here, and we'll get the first piece of the decorative old hunter set. Gold Hunter Top Hat. Looks pretty cool. You know what? I think I'll wear that instead. Looks cooler. Now, down here there is going to be a ton of blood liquors. So, what we are going to do is run up here. And they will shoot blood at you. Now, that blood will poison you. Slow poison, specifically. So, we are slow poison, doesn't do much damage, but it can be very annoying for you. So, we are going to run over here. Talk to this NPC. Skip through the dialogue. Just say nightmares are fascinating. Talk to him again. Talk to him one more time. Just make sure you don't have any extra dialogue. Go out here, and we this is going to be the shortcut to the second part of the level. So, we're going to go back here because we have some more things we need to grab. So, we're going to head up here. And uh, from here you'll be able to see the next part of the level that we will get to. Uh, this is going to be the Constable's Gloves. That's the set that that guy in the Covenant uh, is wearing. The guy who gives you the... Um, 
corruption rune. I think it is. So, uh, we're gonna head back here, and that'll be it for this DLC. Well, not this DLC, but first I'm gonna head back and show you what we get with that firing hammer badge. Sorry about the noise. I'll kick the shit out of them later. I'm just kidding. Okay, so... So, now with, uh, and also with that cosmic eye watcher badge that we got last time, you can buy poison knives, just forgot to mention that. So, new things that we can get, uh, we can get the boom hammer now, that's because we picked it up, the beast cutter, and the piercing rifle. So, uh, this, um, designed for hunting on the old streets, this rifle has been optimized to cause perforation wounds, but is unfit for reliably countering attacks. So, perforation wounds, basically, wounds, basically meaning, uh, like, yeah, piercing, going through things. So, this will go through people. In fact, this, uh, one kill I saw on YouTube on a, uh, montage or like a top 10 a person was able to get a double kill almost a triple kill with it so you can also buy delayed molotovs and backwards some delayed molotovs as well You know what, I think I'll just use the, um, old hunter garb as well. I mean, I can dodge pretty well. Plus, I want to look badass. Well, this is one of the only ways to do it, to be honest. Alright. Uh, I wonder if there's anything else we can get. No, okay. So, that's where we will leave it off for now. Uh, next episode, we will be gathering some more things in that Blood River, going into a cave to kill a very powerful NPC, wielding a new uh, gun. Uh, and I think that will be it for that small little bit of the episode. So, I'll see you next time.